Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Jake from JumpJet. It's been quite a while since I've done a video and that's on me, but I'm getting back to it and I got a, a new microphone. So hopefully it's not gonna be so like boomy. I think this might uh, make the audio slightly better and hopefully you can understand what I'm saying a bit better. So let's just jump into it. Today we're doing something called the block formatting context. Now this is like kind of a, a part of CSS that's uh, important to know but you might have been using CSS for quite some time and not actually come across it um, to, to give you like a very basic example um, the way I think about the block formatting context is that in CSS you can think of everything kind of like a block and they interact with each other in different ways sometimes I even think about CSS elements like pieces of Lego so sometimes you have two pieces of Lego and they might, because of a certain number of rules, they might just sit next to each other and, and they won't overlap. But as you know with Lego, sometimes depending on the rules, like you could put one piece of Lego over the top of another. So that's how I think about uh, elements in CSS. And the block formatting context is a, <clears throat> a set of rules uh, that define how these elements interact. And more specifically, how like a parent uh, children and siblings interact sounds like family matters but uh, that's how it works um, so to create a block formatting context there are certain rules that need to be applied now I can run through them um, there's something about you know setting the value of float um, making sure it's not none making sure the value of uh, the position is not static nor relative the value of display is table cell, table caption, inline block, flex, or inline flex. Or the value of overflow is not visible. But quite frankly, hearing me say all those words is not going to be very helpful, I don't feel. What I will do is share some links um, in, the com in the details section of this video. But what I just want to show you very quickly is a couple of examples of actually what the block format formatting context does. So here we've got a code pen. We have a container uh, and three siblings within that, three sibling elements. And in terms of the rules, the container, first of all, let's see this, um, has like overflow set to hidden. So that was one of the, the rules of creating a block formatting context, that the element must have like the overflow property um, set n to anything but visible. So that means that this container is its own block formatting context or BFC. Um, and within that we have these paragraph elements. Now there's something within CSS, uh, which is like a, mar a margin, um, kind of, uh, effect where margins kind of crush into each other and overlap somehow. And that's what we're seeing here. So each of these paragraph elements, uh, should have a margin of 10 pixels, top and bottom. But they're actually, they're not summing, so they're not adding up and creating like a, a, a distance of 20 pixels between each element. They're actually overlapping or kind of meshing into each other. So we see here, there's a 10 pixel margin between each of these siblings. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new block formatting context by adding <clears throat> overflow hidden to this new div. So what that means is that we have the container, which is a block formatting context, and we're going to create a new one on this element here uh, by adding the CSS property overflow hidden. And what you're going to see is all of a sudden this 10 pixel margin is going to expand because suddenly the margin between sibling two and sibling three are not gonna um, mix into each other. They're suddenly gonna respect the difference in the margins. And you'll see sibling two and sibling three jump apart. So let's see that. Add in the CSS property overflow hidden, creating a new block formatting context, and bang. <clears throat> so that's what we just did is, I'll, I'll show you a little board here so you can see where sibling three is. Uh, but essentially now sibling three has created its own block formatting context. So you can think of the, the block formatting context or BFC as its own little environment. 
and it creates a new set of rules. So when we get rid of the overflow hidden, you're going to see the margin disappear again because now there is no longer a separate um, block formatting context for sibling three. Uh, I'll give you one more example. Um, here we have uh, a parent and two children. The, uh, the parent has no height set on it. So you'll see here that it's just, I've given it a border so you know where it is. But there's no height there and then the children are floated. Now what happens when a parent element has no set height and the children are floated, the parent element just collapses because there's nothing to tell it how high it should be. Now, sometimes this is a common issue in CSS um, layouts. Um, you're like, oh, how do I make the parent like expand to contain the floated children? Can get really annoying. There's something called um, clearing floats. Uh, you'll, if you Google that, you'll see a bunch of different um, recipes for how to combat that issue. But an interesting way that you can prevent it is by using a new block formatting context. Um, and what we do there is we um, can add the overflow hidden to the parent element and now all of a sudden it will expand uh, to, f to contain the children. So that's creating its own block form formatting context and it's saying, okay, and I've got these children and they're this high, so that means I have to be this, this high um, to contain them. Uh, what I want to say is so far I've shown you just the overflow hidden um, trick to create a, a block formatting context, but that's not the only one. Um, I recommend you look up what they are. I mentioned them before, but you're not going to remember that. So look them up for yourself. Um, but just as another example, position. So when the value of position is neither static nor relative, that's also another way to create a new block formatting context. So that's what we do here. Let's uh, set the position of the parent to absolute. And what you'll see is that it will no longer collapse. It will expand to um, contain the height of the children. But because it's absolute, it's also going to, um, the width of it will also uh, snap to just around about the size of the children there. So let's add position absolute. And there you go. So we've created a new block formatting context and uh, the containing element, the parent, uh, has expanded to uh, the height of the children. So yeah, I, I think um, block formatting context can take a, a little, uh, little bit of time to wrap your head around. Uh, but what I like to think of it uh, as is it's basically creating a new mini environment within the, the, um, the page layout. And if you research it a bit more, it can be very helpful when you're, you know, trying to make sure that elements play nice with each other or the parents are like high enough to contain the children and things like that. So like I said, I'll put a couple of links into the uh, video description. I hope that you enjoy the, the new sound um, and visit Jumpjet. We've just upgraded the website so you can visit Jumpjet at www.jumpjet.com. Io, uh, and we help new and junior developers practice their interview skills so they get better and get hired uh, and that should about do it i will i always say this but i'm going to make more videos and thank you to the new subscribers uh it's great to to have you uh you watching and any input is really valuable and uh yeah i'll see you next time guys bye